Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about data slide list with iterator. So if you're following this site list series, I have already explained uh, how to iterate array list and map using data slide list. But in this tutorial, I'll talk about how you can straight away iterate a iterator object using data slide list. Most of the AEM related API give you iterator. Uh, let's take example. Suppose you want to iterate the child pages of a particular page and then you want to display that child pages information to site link. In that case, using the list children, you will get the iterator of all the child pages. Then you will iterate that iterator object and you will keep those page objects inside the list. And then you pass on that list to Sightly. This is the typical use case. Uh, but do you really think this whole step is required? Unnecessary, you are creating a list here and you are iterating using a loop, a iterator object. You can straight away, you can uh, you can straight away iterate this iterator object inside data cellular list. So you do not need to create a list object or you do not need to have an additional loop in your sling model. So let's see how you can do that. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, I injected the page manager. Using page manager, I'm getting the page, right? En page. And then I want to get all the child pages of this en page. So what I'll do, I'll get a list children. And from that, I will getting a iterator object. So then I will iterating this iterating object till all the page and then I'm putting that in a list, right? And then I'm returning that list, right? To Sightly. So this is my interface and this is my Sightly. So if you see here, then this method page info will contain a, a list of page objects. So here what I'm doing, this item will contain a page object and then I'm displaying item.title means page title and page name. Okay. Let me build in and see. So after build, if you see, this is display like page title and page name here. Okay. So let now let me write that a different method to show you how you can return a iterator object straight away as I mentioned. Now if you will be seeing here, there is another object get page iterator. Now you will see. I'm not uh, iterating that iterator object. So I'm remove this, this loop and this list. Right now, what I'm doing straight away, I'm getting an iterator object and then I'm returning this iterator object straight away. And inside Lay, I'm using the same code. So now you should understand here, this page info will contain a list object which contain the pages, page object. Now this page iterator will contain a iterator which also contain the page objects means list of the page objects so slightly will iterate both in the same way so in the second uh, data slide list as well i'm printing this title page title and page name let me build it so if, after build you will see the both uh, list or data slide list will display the same information so if you come here it uh, this is the first one is using the list and the second one is using the iterator so both display the same uh, information to you so when things come to the optimization then you should understand you are unnecessary making a loop here and you are unnecessary creating an object rather than you can state a return a iterator object and this iterator you can have anything like node page or any other thing any other object so you should whenever possible rather than creating a list or any other uh, collection object you can state a return this iterator object i hope you understood if you have any question please do comment thank you